Okay, now that will have been dealt with. Was I doing? Oh yeah, okay, okay. Just had to go back outside. Ugh. What trouble will we get into before the match this time? Actually, before we go, let me you see. I've got double crack. It's gonna give up. Yeah, I'll give up a mini boomer. Let me see here. I think the only chips I have right now that will proc Gutsel are the uh, crack out chips. So actually, a kind of a unique thing about Battle Network 4 is there are two different scenarios for each uh, chapter. Well, actually, okay, there's multiple scenarios, so, um... Well, that was weird. Mega Man would not release the charge shot. But yeah, so, okay, back to what I was gonna say, though. The weird things about Battle Network 4. So, the scenario with Gutsman is guaranteed on our first playthrough. On, um, on the Blue Moon side, you will be fighting Aquaman. Ooh, Airhawk, that's actually a chip I really do like. What? Ah. Oh. Uh, what to give up, what to give up, what to give up. Well, you know what? I'm gonna give up the extra sword and the extra wide sword for wide shot. Yeah, uh, but like, for example, on other playthroughs, you might not be dealing with the scenario we're in right now. You actually might be, um, fighting Sparkman. It does, I'll be honest, it's something I do like about Battle Number 4. With the fact that, I, while I'm not the biggest fan of the requiring multiple playthroughs for all the content thing, um, the fact that they do offer other content with the other playthroughs is nice. I mean, it's not always going to be the same. Also, Airhawk is actually a really powerful chip, and I actually forgot to mention, uh, there are, I think I mentioned the new type. If you see, like, a steel ball for an element, that means that it is, um, I don't remember what the actual term is, but it's basically a I always refer to them as, I think they're called Breaker Chips? Breaker Chips will automatically destroy any obstacle on the board. I tried to help you, man. His Ned Navi's got dementia? What the fuck?
It's actually impressive. Uh, Todd did that too. Ah, uh, so he talked down to them and with when it came to net battling, and when he finally decided to make a navy, no one was going to help him. He needs parts. Well, granted, it's kind of a rule of thumb at this point. You need to go somewhere, you go to a left town. It's the only place we got to go to. It, granted, that won't be the case for the entire game. There are other areas, don't worry. I only knew where Higsby, Higsby was, I could suggest him. Of course they do. But... I guess the only thing to talk about really quick though while we're going is uh, Double Souls. Uh, so, yeah, we unlocked Gut Soul last stream. Uh, with the other Double Souls, you only get, I believe, three souls a run. So it requires three runs to get all the Double Souls. There's one soul in particular I want, but I don't know if we're gonna get it. It shows up in tournament in the uh, next set of Double Souls. So if it doesn't, if it isn't there, I'm gonna have to restart. Cause yeah, we, what decides what double souls you're gonna get is um, basically just start whenever you hit new game. You won't know it, which one you're getting until you get to that point. They're not gonna help. So, Lan means well, but God, he's a little gullible sometimes. Oh God, it, it never gets old to me seeing this sprite for Mega Man. It brings me back. I love it. And Double Soul is still prob of the. Mm, how, okay, how's this? I like the idea behind style change. I just wish some were more useful than others.
wheel. Ooh, I missed this. Yeah, like, the Double Souls... Whoa. Okay, how's this? Is. With the... There are three types of forms Mega Man gets throughout the course of Battle Network. First is style change. I like the principle behind style change. I like the fact that you get a different style based on your play style. I think that's done very well. I just some, wish some styles were more useful than others. Like, if I'm gonna be honest, um... What's it called? Why am I drawing a bike? Oh, yeah. Um, team style is kind of useless because all it does is um, give Mega Man, at least in Battle Earth 2, all it does is give Mega Man more um, Mega Chips to use, or Navi Chips. In Battle Network 3, at the very least, it also gives you access to more powerful Navi Chips that only drop if you have um, team style. Or, um,. Shadow style, for example, that like you can't use its unique charge off if you even have an attack plus one equipped. Let's put it on the table, cut, and never eaten. Silence. Not, nope. Oh my god. Really? Damn it. Oh, this game does have some like weird and wacky moments. So even if you get the question wrong, you still get the secret. You get you have to play a mini game. To be honest, after like the heavier atmosphere Battle Network 3 took, it's kinda nice to go back to a like a little bit of like just the childishness of like ev like this this stuff. Maybe, reminder, Lan is still a kid. Ooh, thing I actually did not talk about double souls. You can't get, you can't go full synchro if you have a double soul active. So that is something to keep in mind. Nope. I thought was over there, but I just wanted to make sure. Is it the Battle Number Four is probably the one I remember outside Battle Number One? Battle Number Four probably is the one that I'm gonna remember the least, just because I've only played like Battle Number Four. I never revisited Battle Number Four. Like, I, I played the shit out of it when I was a kid. I actually had all my double souls, and I was, I was doing pretty good, but I then just, I think I went back to Battle Network 6. It goes around the house and in the house. It never touches the house. Air? They're all like word puzzles, and I'm not good at these. I'm not really good at riddles. That just means the last one's in Area 3. 
I like some of the ideas Bound Arc 3, I mean Bound Arc 4 has, but I just wish they were executed better. Like, the fact that we have to go through this every time before we can even do our next battle is so annoying. Like, we only had to do this for, like, Dex and Gutsman and uh, our current battle. That'd be one thing, but the fact that we had to do this even for the generic heal Navi. It's ridiculous. Lovely around our shine with Cal. Like, thrown in the darkness, a lady's delight, what am I? Diamond. Mm -hmm. Pearl. It was Pearl. Someone had to animate this. I've actually already seen the door. There's a bunch of doors that don't open on certain playthroughs. I don't believe you could go into some areas in certain versions of the game. Like, there's entire exclusive computers, I think, to certain games. Most because you don't do certain scenarios at all. At the very least, there's areas of the net that are locked off. But I don't think this is a big deal because I don't think there's ever any like blue mystery data hidden there. So if I remember correctly, all the all the battles with the with viruses like I'm mean, not viruses with the uh, evil net navvies will always be in set areas like set dungeons. I actually kind of like Gut Soul's design. Though I do wish one thing. He gets like gut, like the bulky arms for Guts Man. I just wish there was like more reinforcement on the boots. Why not? Well, fuck you. That was my bad. I forgot to turn that off. So explain! not really gonna have a lot to say about a lot of these scenarios because like I said I don't re I remember a lot more about like the 
the evil Navi scenarios, I forget a lot of the, um, the net battle tournament scenarios. Oh, fuck. Okay, I can see the problem. fuck is happening? Just get involved in. Yeah, maybe we should stop getting ourselves roped into these situations. Nah, fuck it. Wait, what? Okay, I thought I saw someone up there for a second. So everyone's been doing though. Um, I've been God. I've been streaming a lot for the past few days. Um. We're gonna kinda tone it down this week, I think. I say I think I'm going to more than likely tone it down a little bit. Though we are gonna see one shift. I'm basically gonna be streaming uh, SR every week now. Just because Yeah, we need I need to actually get back. I need to get a little bit moving with SR. Because, um, SR30 has been going on for a couple months at this point, and I've been streaming SR for over a year. So I kind of want to move on to some other projects. And he's 68? Yep. Landed, never figured out that our next opponent was this guy. May I introduce topman.exe? Oh wow, we're opening with Gutho. And yeah, Gutso's a bit on the weaker side, mostly because of the fact that he's made his charge shot can only be used in melee. I do really like this track. Oh, 
Oh, right, that's why I had two swords. I forgot I had two long swords. Thank you, Zero. So, also, interesting thing, this is not the first time uh, the Z sword, of uh, the Z Saber has been in Mega Man Battle Network. It's in Mega Man Network Transmission. Uh, you get it, it's never had the artwork of Zero. Um, the way it worked in Network Transmission was it was connected to Zero.exe, one of the three X Navis. I've talked about the X Navis, we'll talk about the other two. Uh, I've talked about one, Zero.exe, we'll talk about the other two soon. I mean, he made it this far with like a with a net navy that was that didn't work well. Back to square one. Some things never change. I mean, didn't we technically win the N1? Well, actually, no, we didn't win the N1. We didn't get to fight Chad. We actually haven't met. Okay, it's just a generic guy, but oh wow, we actually get a trophy. Yeah, this is only the first round of the tournament. This was just to see who's the best in Den City. Also, a reminder, the asteroid subplot. <laughs> you okay, Regal? Just back to a normal day. He's bored. Oh, it's the dark chip. True, that's actually a good thing to do. Give it because Chad would count as the proper authorities. 
Okay, we don't need to rush for it. Oh, hey, it's Meilu. Can I have rolled out of the roll chip? Another dense land moment. I think this is a dense land moment. Are you open? Fuck yeah, let's see what you got. Spreader, panel return, life sink, Gideon 2, high cannon. Long blade and recover and ooh, ooh! I'm really tempted to save up for this one. Uh, are there no? Is there no lottery for this kid? Okay, okay, so they, they balance it a little bit. There is a number trader in this game, but it just doesn't appear till later. Okay, it's weird that... I mean, Grant, we got a longer walk ahead of us since we're in goddamn Dentec 2. I mean, Dentec 1. I do like the, how they made the um, computers more unique to the individual in this game, more than just the back unique backgrounds. Uh, I'm going backwards. Um, but yeah, no. if I'm going to have to restart the game, I want to end the stream at the start of the Eagle Tournament, because that will decide if, what I'm, if I'm going to have to restart. I will explain why at the end of this stream. I mean, actually, no, no. If you can't guess, it has something to do with Double Souls. I'll explain more when we get to the end. I mean, we get to uh, the Eagle Tournament. I missed. I fucked up both those Vulcans. The Vulcan series is still probably one of my favorite series of battleships, just because if you plan it right, Vulcans can deal a lot of damage and they are really easy to land counter hits with, since they are multi-shot. They're awful for breaking barriers, though. Since Vulcans will only ever deal 10 damage. Um, there is a Vulcan 2 and a Vulcan... Oh, hey. Wait, what's going on? Oh, okay. So that's what's going on.
But why'd we have to come here through Melu's computer? I think uh you good roll You really don't. Well hey, Mega Man's still the best one here probably. Routine set, execute. Let's see what we got going on here. Ah, just three Metro EXs. Okay, I wasn't sure about that, but I figured I'd try it. So I wasn't sure if Guts Punch could, uh, the Guts Punch could break through, um, their armor. More EXE viruses. I mean, EX viruses. Really? a lot of use out of Guts Soul. That's why I like the Airhawk Battle Chip. It has different patterns, but it all depends on where Mega Man's standing, what pattern, but uh, uh, pattern, a pattern you're gonna get. But uh, you can kind of trace it out pretty easily. There's a lot of like uh, diagrams online for it. With your little friend, Mayloon Roll set this all up. Wait, what? Lad. You are so, you're so dead. You dumbass, she's inviting you. And you gave her the tickets. What, what the fuck? Shit! Yeah, I know what I kind of forgot about that. I think this is the only time that alarm actually sounds. Poor Mrs. Hikari.
doing something on, on the computer. Of course it's over the fucking dark chip. Yeah, unsurprisingly, fast way to get to park area is through town. The net, from what I remember, is a little bit more linear this go around. Uh, there's no longer the train system of Battle Network 3 where uh, you can't go from, like, well, you had to use the train to connect to Scilab or so on and so forth. This way, it's this time, and this is the way the net's gonna be going forward. It's like a series of levels. Though for Battle Network 5 in particular, that's a little bit more true than you'd think. Can I even get in there? You know what? I'm gonna be honest, I, I cannot blame this Navi. We are basically breaking and entering. Or attempting to. Oh shit! Do not want to be stuck in the back one. Oh, fuck off. Oh, if that hit, I would have won. I do like the fact that you have to battle other navvies. That's still something I really do like about this game.
Check, check, check. Uh oh, I hope it didn't just break my head back. Okay, now that's the fix. Wait, 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 I think I know, I remember this one now. E. Four J. Seven is K. So the uh, the numbers are the numbers that are every letter is the order it's supposed to go in. Yes. Look, Mega Man, get a ladder. Get a ladder and walk with confidence. Oh, right, I forgot about these viruses. That's the other thing about this game. It has some really interesting virus design- uh, viruses. Okay, that's the sec- that's a little bit of an investment, but yeah, that's the second part of the thing that's gonna let us use the, um, thin walkways we see around. I don't remember if it's necessary, I'd like to say it isn't. But it is nice to have. Oh, that just worked out beautifully. Yeah, uh, let me see. Do you have... Yeah, I'll, I'll spend the thousand zenny on a full energy. I'd like to at least have one full energy just to be on the safe side. I was say, it is nice to not have to worry about, like, you know, oh, am I beating this too many of this point, too many of that point for a uh, style change? I like the fact that Double Soul is more reliant on the deck you've built. Gonna go Guts Soul. Even though I can't use it against the Metaphors, the, the Guts Machine Gun will help. If I can get it to trigger. Okay, that worked out. That was just bad.
uh, the Dark Chip Syndicate Nebula. So, may I introduce our villains for for a good chunk of the next few games? Nebula. Use Dark Chips for the side of evil. So from here on out, the, uh, I guess now that we've had Nebula name dropped, I guess I should exp uh, call the evil navvies what they are. This is the game that introduces the Dark Lloyds. These are all very, these all navvies are just evil. That's essentially all it is. There's a little bit more of a thing with the Dark Lloyds in Mega Man NT Warrior. Dark Dark Lloyds were introduced in Access, and they were all solo net navvies. Uh, two of the standouts, or at least two of the ones who are kind of interesting, is one is Shade Man, who is currently our, the only one we know of in this game, but also Beast Man from Mega Man Battle Network 3. Oh, hey, look, it's the same guy from earlier. Or is it might be, or it's just a generic guy. Shade Man is going to confront us again. I have a feeling Land's mother kind of gets what Meilu's trying to do. There we go! Land is a dense motherfucker. Yeah, no, Land, that is a date. Okay, yeah, no, I think she's, I think she's got this. I'm just gonna skip past all this. We already know how Navicus works, so I do like the idea of like, why did we lose Navicus? Because Land got grounded. Okay, I'm gonna skip past all this because we already know how this all works. Navicus behaves exactly the same as it did in Mega Man Battle Network 3. So, you know, solid programs have to be on the line. Um, pattern, yeah, a pattern program can't, has to be off the line. And two programs of the same color cannot be touching. There, actually, no, wait, no, no, there's, I lied, there's one difference. Uh, if you remember back in Mega Man Battle Network 3, Mega Man was limited to using a certain set of colors and could get an extra color based on style change. In this one, you're limited to a certain number of colors. If you look above there, we have purple, I mean, pink and white. You can only add up to four, I believe. I think it gets more as you find, like, memory expansions. Okay, and I'll just skip past all this. No, I think it is just a limit. Uh, is this the... No, this is the, uh, folder I can't alter. Let me do some edits real quick. In particular, I'm gonna put back in one of the swords and the wide sword. I'll give up... I'll give up the airhawks for that. Airhawk is really useful in Battle Arc 5 because you get a breaker, um, double soul. Let's see. Yes, it's here! 
Melu can wait. I got auto numbers to roll. Okay, let's see. Yeah, a couple of these you actually get from Mega Man Bow Chip Challenge. And a couple of them give you sub chips. Um Custom two. Nope. Buster pack. I'm not gonna put any of the battleship ones in just because of the fact. To be honest, there's no reason for me to. I'm gonna earn. I don't feel like having like level three battleships on run one. The reason I have no problem putting in the ones I just did is they do not exist. Their codes do not exist in the game. Like, you have no way of finding them in game. Oh, okay, um, so I was double checking what the compression codes are, so all the code, all the programs here are already in their compressed state from battle number three. Yeah, uh, with the Buster Pack, uh, 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 yeah, um, no, I'm just showing. With this, it's an attack, speed, charge, and his attack, his speed, and his charge all get a plus three. It's a very powerful program, but it's very large. As you see, it's almost my entire Navi cusp. So the only reason I'm okay using that is the only way you can find that uh, program is by, uh, basically guessing. I will say, this is, it is actually kind of interesting that, like, how much time Lance is spending with Meilu in this game. Especially because, like, uh, Dex, Yai, and Melu kind of become, like, relegated to the background in the last two games. Six for, ver for different reasons than five. Yeah. 
Something's up in Park Area 3. Do we have a way to get there? Well, the only computer here is yet. Let's see, where does this drop me? Ooh, I would like. Wait, what the fuck? Why? Why is this here? This is one of the max programs. Um, for context, there are three max programs in the game. And what they do is they boost a stat to its max potential. So they'll set it to five. Okay, I need to find a code. Oh, there it is. Yeah, uh, so now that Mega Man's got a uh, 5 in attack, uh, to talk about his damage. I turn on Buster Max, it is 500. Yeah, Mega Man's kind of terrifying right now. There are various... Is that I don't. When it comes to the codes for the Navi, I mean for the Lotto, like I said, I have no problem searching them up just because some of them are Im were impossible for us to get here in the States, like the ones from the uh, wafers back in Battle Number 3. Battle Number 4 is a lot of guess and check. I could just beat my head against the wall and find all these. It's really just a time saver. I believe that is related to one of the possible boss battles. Oh, well. Looks like I'm losing out on that one. Forgot. Eh, fuck it. It's just shrimp viruses. That seems a bit petty to be this, this brand new like criminal organization.
Yeah, you do? Land, you're going to learn or we're going to beat the book into you. Small world. You know what? Of all the reasons to get um, a free ice cream, that is just the dumbest, and I love it. Ah, land's catching on. Essentially, the structure for this game's narrative is going to be a nebula incident, a tournament, and then a nebula incident. Attraction. Reminds me of, of uh, Nightman. The Vampire Miner. Man, Miner. What the fuck is this my speech pattern today? I'm like all over the damn place. Ugh. It's still weird to see, like... Oh, God, that's some ominous music. It's kind of nice just seeing, like, land being able to just be normal. Getting some Castlevania vibes from this place. I wonder if this area is going to be important well, with vampires and a certain person trying to kill us. <laughs> also, here's an interesting one. The fearless vampire and the opposing figure of a the Django the Solar Boy. The Gun Soul Battle Chip. So, talking about this, this is a set of battle chips that was introduced in Battle Network 4 and 6 around Battle Network 5. And also has a thing in Battle Network 6 where it's a promotion for, with, I believe, a Konami game. That also had this weird gimmick. It had a solar charger you'd plug into your Game Boy Advance. And the only way you'd be able to play is with uh, being outside. Oh, there's our incident. Oh shit!
So the way that this dungeon's gonna work, you have to go through the stories of the different robos. Begin our journey of danger. Yeah, so there's bits of the plot that are missing, so you have to find the missing dialogue to finish it. It's a really actually, it's a unique dungeon premise. So the way it works is there's going to be different tablets we had to find that all are missing different words and we just got to figure out the one that properly fills in the story. Guts machine guns should be able to make quick work of them. God, I love having five buster. It's so good. Let's see here. That says mirror. Comb. I think it's going to be Mirror. Yeah, with mirror. Okay, the next part of the story. Okay, sealed him in a blank. I like to say there's three pieces. I mean, three uh, missing elements of the story that you're going to hit with each one. Because of course there's multi-layers to this dungeon. Oh, set of dungeons. Ooh, talk about Gunsoul finally. So the way Gunsoul works is it doesn't deal damage per se. The way it works is it will pierce any guard. It doesn't matter what form it is, even if it's the Metor's uh, helmet. It will always deal damage and its length is depending on how long you hold A. We got big tree and statue. I think it's statue. I'm leaning towards the. Uh, now I'm thinking about it. probably big tree. The good old light sword. Light sword is a good program advance to have memorized just because it's solid damage. 
It's also just really easy to pull off, being it's always the same three battleships. Okay, so no, it is Big Tree. Okay. Statue also would make sense. A couple, like, I I remember a few of these being weird. The only thing is about, um, uh, the gun soul, uh, is that, well, yes, it deals consistently powerful hits. It doesn't proc, it doesn't proc, um, what's it called, uh, impact damage, and it, so it basically, if an enemy's caught in it, they can move out of it, and you can boost it with attack plus. It is just solid one damage over a period of time. Uh, the 2 and 3 versions of the gun chip will last longer. Sure, being saved from a tree, I, I think that means he's a keeper. This is why I use this chip, it's so good. Lecture. Mighty Blade. Oh, come on! I'm shit at proccing the guts machine gun. Uh, you could probably hear me like mashing away at the button to try to tri uh, proc it. And yeah, I'm just going to skip past all the story. Cleaning the story, there's the switch. And of course there's another virus. Love having 50 damage for that. It's 
the wizard now. Okay, let's go! Saw blue mystery data down here. Ooh, rock cube. Depending, I, you know, actually, you know, I was gonna say, I think depending on your version, that ship is actually more useful. Just because, I think, uh, I forget which version it is, gets it as, um. Oh, wait, I just, I just realized something about this. Oh, shit, this is, this map is going to suck. Because the issue here was, I just noticed I was on grass panels and that virus would have dealt so much. Wizcat. What else would a dog have a problem with? Cat! Oh, it's not. Oh, shit. Huh. I mean, it made sense. Wiz Dragon or Wiz Monkey. I mean, honestly, none of them really fit. I thought a uh, cat makes sense, but I'm gonna try Monkey and then we'll know the answer. Oh, wait, shit, we're already dealing with an EX version of these. I just don't know, you know, we had them in town area. I think I remember that being a thing of this. Like, there's a couple of these questions where, like, a couple different ones would answer. So, something that could stop the magic. I'm nearly one-shotting these guys without. Like, look. The only thing that sucks is, like, I said, most of my Davy Cuss now is just devoted to this one program. Like, I can't really do much else with the Navi Cuss. Okay, let's see what we got. Bad joke. That makes sense. Just- Oh, fuck off. Just- He's going for sheer overkill.
So we got two missing bits of the story. So not only do we need to find the missing bits, they have to be placed in the right order. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, so I talked about earlier how the Vulcan chips never deal more than 10 damage. The difference is Vulcan 1 deals 3 shots, Vulcan 2 deals 5. So it's going to be 50 damage instead of 10. I mean 30. Plunge, good nose, maybe? if I can grab all the data. No, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna see if I can pick up the rest of them or if I have to, like, only grab two. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, wait, what? What? Uh-oh. That's gonna come up later. I really do wit the like, one problem I will say I do have. I really don't like how it makes us wait so long to get um what's called a uh, Navi Cuss. Well, because like here's the thing, in Battle Network 3, yeah, we had a clear um flashman to get the Navi Cuss. And we did have to go through the trials, but like with this one, we had not only the the tests, we had you know, we had the tests, we had Shade Man, and then we also had the first tournament. I'm gonna turn on Buster Max for this stunt for this remainder. Someone's watching us. I'll turn off the fight with the virus in the switch. Okay, yeah, that's the first one, definitely. But yeah, um... I don't really have much to say. Ooh, actually, you know what? This is something to talk about. If I remember correctly, uh, if you're on metal plates, uh, thunder chips will actually deal more damage. Also, it's interesting to see that we have the gears now for Metal Man. 
Uh, talk about it really quick, uh, cause... Is it this game, or... Hold on, I just gotta check. Yeah, so there's... Interesting, there is a melee-focused soul in, um, Bad... And, yeah, in Blue Moon... Yeah, Blue Moon. Blue Moon, much like, um... How Gut Soul is exclusive to this game. In the others, in the other game, it'll be Metal Soul. Oh shit, now we have to like explain the uh, talk about the concept of death. This is dark. Not zombie. No. I think it's bird and dance. I think I'm gonna save up my Zenny and get the um, Super Vulcan from Higsby because that's a really good uh, battle trip to have. The only thing is, if I remember correctly, it doesn't get a boost from Gut Soul. Got some viruses from under the rat. So, it looks like the rafts aren't as safe as we were led to believe. Yeah, we chased them away. One da piece of data missing. An attack plus 10 never hurts to have as it op in the opening hand. Maybe. He became a getter, a politician. <laughs> This one. Just because it mentioned a dance in the other one. Nah, it wasn't dancer. Their farm, I think. Maybe? I swear, if it's a politician, I'm gonna laugh. Okay, so it is toy. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, that's another one down. This is a vampire. Gee, I wonder who we're going to be dealing with. Don't mind this, giving Lan, like, his own little puzzle here. It's small, but it's a nice little thing. Yeah, this area is very different compared to everywhere else. We have the Solar Boy versus the Vampire. Yeah, I think I will say I do like this. Like the more ominous setting, the the fact that like we trade out the bright, vibrant colors for the, this dark, grungy metal, and then the fact it's like a river of blood. carried blank the solar gun and with the blank that he had worn by his father he set off to defeat vampires so yeah this is the story of the Django which is its own video game so this is an entire dungeon themed around a video game that is not even by Capcom if I remember correctly I could be wrong. I think it is by Konami. I have to double check though. I will say, if I was better at using the Guts machine gun, no, that's not it. It's not the washboard, it's the gun soul. Yeah, it's still wild though that this is an entire crossover for Mega Man. And it will be a, like a reoccurring crossover until the end of the series. It's especially well because I don't believe this was a game that was like really popular here in the West. Like, I don't think it actually came to the West. I could be wrong there. Actually, no, 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 no. There's English translation, so I believe it did. It did come here. all over the place tonight. I apologize for that if I seem like a little like scatterbrained. I am I think I'm just tired. No, it's not that one. Uh, I'll be honest, a couple of these answers you wouldn't know unless you played the other game. don't know how I feel about that. It's not the first, it's not the last, like I said, it's not the last time this would happen for Battle Network. Oh, I should have grabbed one of the recovery chips. 
One of the things I could have gotten from the lottery numbers, I mean the lottery was um of recover 300. Yeah, this one. But I felt that'd be a little much. No point in using Gut Soul for this fight. You know, I I do think though this is probably one of the stronger like dungeons for uh Battle Network 4. Just because the whole lead up to this place is really good. I do not think this place would work nearly as well if it didn't have like that whole like bright and cheery atmosphere leading into it. It's just such a good contrast. Hey, it's just really it's really well done. I don't think there's any other praise I could save it. I mean, I could sing for this area. I, I think I'll let it worry me, man. door. I would also like to point out, though, um, just an interesting thing that I don't know, uh, just because it's been a bit, I don't know if you all remember, but, um, we never beat Shade Man. Like, we dealt zero damage to Shade Man, and then he just ran away when Proto Man showed up. Which I think definitely ma makes like the op hurts the opening segment of this game. I think what he shouts is this, and it came from the skylight.
Uh, no, here's the only thing I can actually talk about. Um, some interesting little thing. Uh, Blue Moon, your first double soul will be, um, Aqua Soul. Aqua Soul has the fastest charge shot out of any double soul in the entire franchise. The thing is, though, it has the weakest charge shot out of any of the, um... Wait, what? One, two... Wait, what? I thought it was only two-story data. Wait, did I remember to grab the other one? No, I didn't. If you're gonna you're gonna find a lot during this game in particular. I don't really have a lot to say. It's fine. It, it's a great start to this era of oh no no it's not a great start it's a rocky start to this era of Mega Man Battle Network. But it definitely is got some really interesting mechanics. Like I said Double Soul is quite possibly the best introduction this game has and one of the best systems this game introduces. But it's followed up by a really strong entry in the form of, um, Battle Number 5. And, like, here's the thing about, about the last three Battle Network games, and to be honest, uh, it's more of... Battle Networks 5 and 6 really just improve on what was there. Uh, there's an issue, my man. Where's the switch? Wait, what? Wait a second. Yep. Welcome back, Shademan.exe. And it's good! Yeah, fuck you. Here we go. Our battle against Shademan.exe. So, much like before, we can't really hurt him. You're basically just gonna keep trying to get him to teleport. And here they are. 
the dark sword, dark chip created by desire. The dark chips will appear in your deck at random points. They have no code, they cannot be loaded with anything else. Instead of having the normal background, they will always have a black background. The dark sword is the equivalent of a life sword, but at just normal hit rate. I mean, just as a normal... Dark sword is life sword with 100 plus damage and does not need three chips to be created. So with that... We cross the line. You have no choice. No other chip will be able to hurt Shade Man. The only way you're going to take him down is with the dark chip. There's going to be a lot more to the dark chip, but we'll explain. I'll explain that in a bit. Oh, also, I love this. Just the way he breaks apart at the end. It's so good. So I'll check some stuff here really quick. I'll explain how dark chips work in detail after um, as we move towards the next uh, checkpoint. Who did they send? Of course. So they've been active for a while, but Gospel and World 3 basically... They were another organization, but they let those to take the center stage and basically operate in the shadows to start building their power. Oh! Lan, you're a criminal again. Yep. So yeah, that is a very direct warning about the dangers of using the dark chips. There are very real repercussions for using them as, um... Mega Man here in Battle Network 4. They do make, they do are present in other games, but they have a different story beats behind them. We'll talk about that later.
So 50 points and then to the castle. So yeah, Mega Man did not receive any negative effects for us using that dark trip, which is nice because, like I said, it is mandatory to use the dark trip for that scene. Ah, uh, I remember that. You know what? Okay, that's fair. But yeah, um, so the thing is. Oh wait, what? Okay. Wait, oh, yeah, uh, okay, so... So I can find focus. The way you could get... If you want to use the dark chip, take seven hits without fighting back. Like, do not shoot your buster. Don't go... Like, just get hit several times. And Mega Man will enter the anxious state. Once he's in the anxious state, you'll get two dark chips at the last two slots of your folder. I believe you can get chips like, uh, Dark Cannon and, of course, there's Dark Sword. I believe, so Dark Sword, like I said, behaves much like Light Sword, but with an extra 100 damage and without needing Wide Sword or Long Sword. Um, honestly, in my opinion, Life so I mean, Dark Sword's one of the more powerful Dark Chips. I'm just gonna check everywhere I can in the overworld really quick. Once we're do I'm done checking everything out in the real world, I'm going to... Yeah, once we're done checking everything out in the real world, I'm going to go back into the net and look for the other points. I remember correctly, uh... Dark Cannon, I think it is a thing in this game. Yeah, Dark Cannon basically will hit for the same amount as the Giga Cannon program advance. You actually have a unique uh, sprite, that's actually pretty cool. Give me one second, I want to check some stuff. If I could get a, a, one more spreader chip, I could get a program advance. Do we have rock, paper, scissors? I think it always uses scissors.
There he is. Yeah, they, they hide them in pretty much everything, like interactable objects, characters. There's a full list of where they're all located. You can search it up. Uh, it's actually present on the Mega Man Bound Network wiki. I kind of don't mind this one just because of the fact that they do it as a combination between this world and, and the cyber world. Like if this was only in the cyber world, it would just, it would get annoying. Should be also one. There's a good chunk you can get here, but let's see. Oh no, it's Comp Four, which is the vampire. Yeah, the uh, the heel navy here has a few, but you're gonna be. You're gonna defeat yet. Yeah. You have to take you get ten and now you have to defeat him in three battles in a row. If I didn't have the Buster Pack, this would be a lot harder. I am happy I decided to get that. Oh, come on! Oh, shit. Yeah, that's actually a particularly nasty chip, especially in multiplayer. You can use that to set up some really dangerous uh, moves.
And here we go again. Doesn't matter anyway, we're done. Okay, that's 36. There isn't any more in this area. Um, I think there's a couple more I missed in Dentec. Let's see here. Is there any with the squirrel? Nope. I believe each of the houses do have one. There we go. Two points from Dex. So this one? There's one from from the eyes place. Uh picture. Okay, now we're gonna have to go onto the net. Because I don't believe there's any more I could get. You know, wait, 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 wait. There's a couple I could get in, um, Elect Town. Yep. Okay, there's another from the box. And we're gonna go all the way back to Den 1 through here. There is more points than you need. I will say that much. You know, okay, I know what I'm gonna do. Find him, we get two from him. And then there's a Mr. Prog in Area 3 who will give us the remainder we need. I will say this, depending on what we get for the tournament, um, what uh, roster we get will determine what happens because um you so when we start next stream you might notice I might have a completely different folder um, If that happens, I will explain what happened at the start of that stream There we go 50 There's one that will give you five points, but you have to give up a cannon C, which we only have one cannon C battle chip, so that's out of my question right now, because it is part of my program advance.
And for that, we get folder two. But, oh, okay, yeah, so that is how it's introduced. Uh, banners will let you go to, um, different desktops from lands. See who our first opponent is. Okay, okay. And also, fuck yes, I don't need to restart. Okay, I'm going to try to get the next double soul and then we'll end it. Yeah, our, so sign by the tournaments that will always happen, you, the second round will always be your, um, double soul. Open soap at a bakery. Leave them alone. Oh shit, time to pick a fight with the Mafia again. Land, you beat gospel. Mega Man, we beat gospel. We beat the Net Mafia. Like, legitimately, like, Land has done some crazy shit. into the park? Oh, she did. Uh-oh. So we know his Navi is somewhere in park area. I think the structure for how I'm going to do these streams for Battle Network 4 is I'm going to go until we get the double soul of the chapter and then we're going to call it. Oh shit.
So for this, we're gonna have to actually sneak around. Yeah, it's not the best in the world. An interesting idea, but it's a little too ambitious. It'll be faster for me. I think it'll be faster for me just to jack out and then just go back to the H uh, the desktop. I might save scum this a little bit just because it's not the best. Maybe like it was better at recognizing where you were on the map, that'd be one thing. Okay, let's We're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, let's We're almost there. We're almost there. I'm actually really interested to talk- I don't know if 
he's gonna be our fight for this upcoming uh, tournament. Like, you know, he's gonna be our boss fight, but I'm really interested to talk about one of the navvies on that list. Just because I really like his design. That's just stupid placement. Oh my god. Please behave, puppy. Yeah, uh, if I may... I may check real quick. No, it doesn't have them in any particular order. If I remember correctly, the other nav... Oh, fucking hell. Let me double check here who's the uh, other double souls who can appear here. Um, for Red Sun, this is the Eagle Tournament, but if you are on Blue Moon, this will be the Hawk Tournament. Yeah, so the two navvies you could get here are either going to be Wingman or Roll as your opponent. Um. In Blue Moon, it could either be Woodman or Metal Man. I think I don't have to reset because I believe we should be. I want to fight Roll. I want her. I want her to be the double sword. I believe round two is always the. That's also why I'm trying to get to fight uh, the next round because I do want to see. I'll find out by the end of the stream if we're getting Roll Soul because I really want that double soul. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna start safe scumming this. This is ridiculous. They're just way too sensitive. Like, they look in your direction and they'll catch you. I'm so annoyed. If I didn't go through that portal at the end, I would have been perfectly fine. I swear to god, if that guy had seen me, I would have been very upset. So there's a blinder battle chip. If I remember correctly, I don't think it's too useful in single player. I think it's more of a multiplayer chip. where exactly in here we have to go. Shit, shit, shit.
I'm gonna be very upset if my, uh, my opponent doesn't end up being Roll, if it does end up being Video Man. second. No, okay, we'll find out. The issue is finding like a, like some of the guides for this are really annoying just because of the fact the orange not the RNG nature, but like the shifting nature of the tournaments makes it kinda hard for people to write walkthroughs. Cause like all the others, like Battle Arc 3 and stuff, I would just have a chapter list up so I would know like, oh, I'm fighting this Navi here, I'm going here at this point in the game. Just so I knew like what to be, what to mentally try to remember. But with this, because of the fact these tournaments are always different, like there's only so many scenarios in each tournament. Let's see here. But. Okay, let's see. I hope that's it. Yeah, no, my bus is really powerful, man. Check out! Why did you... Okay, look, there was no reason for Mega Man to wait for these guys. He could have just jacked out. Okay, did we see Flame Man on... I don't think Flame Man was on the board... Do wait. During the, uh, Den City tournament. So, I don't think they appear if they... Um, if they're not, I mean, if they're not the double soul for the chapter. I'm really worried about this, because if I don't know, if I don't find out that I do have to, I really don't want to have to reset this game just to get roll. And I want roll soul, because it's like the mo one of the most powerful double souls you can get.
gun? Or did she just use like the fucking Akuma uh, Satsunui no Hago or whatever the fuck? No, no, what's it? That's the state. Whatever the fuck Akuma does to destroy a soul. really hope I get rolled out of EXE as the next challenge because I really wanted her double soul. The bed small dog. I do like this computer, like this uh, comp right here, the, the overall design for the snap valve machine being a treasure chest, it's really cool. It's also visible from the uh, start of the, well, from the outside of the castle. It's just really zoomed out. The end of this battle will decide, I mean, the, the result of this battle is, doesn't really matter in the grand scheme, it's the results of the other battle going on that decides what's gonna happen. I hope he gets his bakery. That's the thing. Well, some a lot of the characters here are like one-shot throwaway characters. They they all have their own personalities. I kind of like it. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. I kind of figured that's what was going to happen, but I, I was still scared. Also, this is the only time we get to fight roll in a main in the mainline Battle Network games. Yeah, really, we never actually fought roll. Yeah, no, this is kind of weird because going back to some classic Mega Man talk, the original series Mega Man and Roll were like brother and sister. Hence the names Rock and Roll.
Of course, as soon as something goes wrong, it goes go to land. Oddly enough, this scenario would kind of be revisited in the re-release of Battle Network 1 with Operation Shooting Star. With, uh, Time Man. Uh, for context, I talked about this during Battle Network 1, but Time Man.exe kidnaps Roll. As well as, uh, Sonya Strum. They ran deeper into park area. I'm gonna pause the recording because there's no reason for anyone to see me run all the way to the end of park three again. Oh shit! It just calls him a pervert. See some heal navvies are just normal. They're not like trying to kill me. How do I 
get do for it at this time in that area shit do i actually have to go all the way oh, no no i have to you no know, i have to go out the exit i dirt i am a dumbass ups what are you doing stop trying to eat each other I'll be coming to bed soon. So, like, help me. Go to bed, go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Be there soon. Shopping, 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 shopping. Let's see. Isn't there a shop here? Shit, I'm actually starting to get pretty close to being able to afford, um... Uh, what's it called? Um, Super Vulcan. How many blood practice do I have? 13. Not, not bad, actually. I'm massing quite a collection of those, too. Was it over here? Yep. There, there he is. Uh, and honestly, he doesn't really deserve to get a fair fight, but you don't have to fuck it. Fair fight.
Sorry about that. Uh, one dog just had to pull an escape pack. Shit. Come on, I'm pause the video. I might as well just give it pause. Oh, poor guy. Might as well leave the video pause because we're going back all the way to part three. Mega Man Battle number four, everyone. God, could you imagine having to do this without, um, Buster Max? Actually, no. You don't need to. Some of us have done it. Doing this without Buster Max is, is just so painful. Don't you think about it, pup. Start eating things. I have to watch a little bit because yeah, they, they think they're at that point. Everything is food and they've already chewed up one of my lives. And I can't be mad at them because they're just puppies. Solid damage right there. Okay, we finally made it all the way back. Sorry if like I sound like I'm tired. I am. Oh, what's up, little pup? I'm right here. This chapter in particular was actually why I wanted to play Red Sun instead of Blue Moon. Because this is the only time we really get to see Roll fight. Huh? Roll tamed the viruses. I think Mega Man pissed her off. Yeah, Mega Man, you really should not have said that. Joel's gonna kick our ass. Wait, Roll wants to fight us? What? Is that the whole point of this tournament? A 
As I did not realize you could jack into this. I actually never, because when I grew up, I played, uh, Blue Moon, so I've never actually done this fight before. Okay, that seems pretty simple. What the f- Finally, end our. Let's finally have our battle with roll.exe. Like I said, this is the only time in the main games where we actually battle roll. The only other time roll really gets a time to shine in terms of battle is uh, uh, about your challenge, and I believe if you want to count it, 4.5. Like she's in a, a, she's playable in a couple of the spin-off titles, but not the main game. Anybody else? Roll, roll and glide don't really get that much time to shine. And I, and from this point forward, uh, pretty much every all of Lance's uh, friends kind of get the back burner. I like the reason in Battle Network 6 more than Battle Network 5. I know, little dog. I'll be right there. He's looking like, please help, these puppies are crazy. I have a bad feeling about this. Lan, you just pissed them off even more. You know, for the amount of times that this Navi chip has, uh, Roll's Navi chip has saved me, it's kind of scary to see her on that side of the board. Right, she could summon viruses. I forgot about that. Please calm down.
Okay. Calm down. Oh fuck! Wait, we're, wait, did that thing eliminate my battle chip? Did it eliminate my goddamn program advance? Nope, nope, nope. Not happening. This might just come down to Buster Spam. Like I've like landed very few. Oh shit! Not only did I just land the last egg, I landed it with a goddamn counter. Just trying to tell you shit, land. There we go, with that we've obtained Roll Soul! I'm also double checking sign really quick. Oh, but somebody always protects her. Gee, I wonder who that is. Okay, yeah. The roll. So, interesting thing to talk about. Uh, the roll battle chip is version exclusive. This is the only time this will happen, but roll is exclusive to Red Sun. And I don't mean just roll soul, I mean her actual battle chip. You know, the one we usually rely on in all the other games. Because we are going to have to have rematches with roll. Plan, you dense motherfucker. <laughs> so yeah, to use Roll Soul, we're gonna have to sacrifice a recovery chip. So recovery 10, recovery 20, 30, you name it. Uh, char... <coughs> oh. Charge shot will become the Roll Arrow, and it'll destroy... Okay, so if it does hit, it does destroy a battle chip. And every time you use a battle chip while you are united to when you are in Roll Soul, Mega Man will recover 10% of his HP. It is a very powerful soul. It's quite possibly one of the most powerful double souls for battle number four. Just because it makes Mega Man really hard to kill. So let's see. I think I know who we're gonna be fighting next. That's who I thought we were going to be fighting. Burnman.exe Fire makes us think of one particular person. Yes, Mr. Match actually appears twice in this game. Because you can fight Torchman or Fireman in the opening segment. And here we have Burnman. Okay, my fault. No, I thought he operates Burnman. No, he just operates Fireman. Yep, 
and may this is Burn Man's net op. So this is a more interesting design for Mr. Match. You are in a little mood tonight. So there's this whole culture around fire navvies? What the fuck? Well, at least they're selling- At least Mr. Match is selling it without crime. I wonder if this is dumb because of the fact he's not a criminal anymore in Anti Warrior. With that, though, that we're going to call stream there. Thank you all for tuning out. Uh, sorry it wasn't as, like, high energy as I am, but, like, I don't really have much to say about Power Network 4. We're just kind of going through it, and I'm, I'm actually pretty tired. With that, though, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day.